Good morning, Grade 6. A warm welcome to Grade 6 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Let's learn the next property of whole numbers today. It's called the identity property. You know why this property is called identity property? Because according to this property, when a mathematical operation is done on a number, its identity remains the same. So according to this property, the number remains the same or the identity of the number remains the same even after a mathematical operation is done on that number. So let's see how this can be applied in the case of addition, subtraction and multiplication of whole numbers. So the additive identity or the identity property in the case of addition of whole numbers. See, it means that there is an additive identity or identity element which is a number that can be added to a whole number and the result of that addition will be that whole number itself. Let's hear that again. Additive identity is a number which when added to any number gives the number itself as the result. So what can be added to a given number to get the given number itself as the result? See we know 0 can be added to any number and you get that number itself as the sum. For example, if you add 0 to 100, what is the answer or what is the result? You get 100 itself as the sum or the result. And what if I am doing 253 plus 0? It is the same case. You are adding 0 to a given number and you get the number itself as the end result. So you can say 0 is the additive identity or the identity element for addition in the case of whole numbers. That is if 0 is added to any whole number, the result is the whole number itself. Its value does not change there. Its identity remains the same. The identity or the value of the whole number remains the same. So you see 0 is the additive identity for whole numbers hope this is clear to you. Now, what about subtractive identity? So, in this case, it means that a number, there is a number which can be subtracted from any whole number and then you get that whole number itself as a result or the difference. That identity or the value of that whole number remains the same. So, can you say which number can be subtracted from a whole number or any whole number? and the value does not change, it is 0. You can subtract 0 from any number and the difference will be that number itself. For example, you are subtracting 0 from 1000. What is the value? The value remains the same, the end result remains the same. It is that number itself, the given number itself. It can be any number. When you subtract 0 from it, the number remains the same. No difference happens to the number, the value remains the same. So you can say 0 is the subtractive identity or the identity element for subtraction of whole numbers. Let's see that again. Subtractive identity is a number which when subtracted from any number gives the number itself as the result. If 0 is subtracted from any whole number, the result is the whole number itself. Its value does not change. The identity of the number remains the same. So 0 is the subtractive identity for whole numbers. Hope this is clear. Now what about multiplicative identity? What can be multiplied by any number and you get that number itself as the product? See multiplicative identity is a number which can be multiplied by any number to get the given number itself as the product. So what is it? We know any number can be multiplied by 1 and the product or the result will be the given number itself. For example, I am multiplying 953 by 1. A given number multiplied by 1. What is the product? The number itself. And I am multiplying 1 by 1023. I am just saying a number at random. The result is 1023 itself. 
So you can multiply 1 with any number and you get that given number itself as the result or the product of the multiplication. So that identity of that given number remains the same, the value remains the same. So you can say 1 is the multiplicative identity or identity element of multiplication of whole numbers. Let's see that again. When a number is multiplied by 1, we get the number itself as a result. So 1 is called the multiplicative identity for whole numbers. Children, I hope this property is clear to you now. You can go through this property once again. This is given in page number 22 of your textbook. Just go through it once again and it will be very clear to you. So that's all for today children. Just think about how we can apply identity property in the case of division. Just think about it. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, bye.